So here's the thing. Most men of value absolutely adore a classy feminine woman. And so when these kinds of men meet a woman, especially in like a social setting or on a date, there are certain things he notices about whether she is this kind of woman for him or not. These things we're going to go through will have every man who notices see and treat you as a woman to be adored and a prize to want to work for. Let's get into it. The first thing a man notices is your emotional awareness. Rightfully or wrongfully so, many men generally anticipate a woman to be a bit more emotionally sensitive than he is himself and so with that comes a level of space he would naturally give to her but when she may be a bit emotional he invented the times when he may think is a little bit unwarranted but if he cares about her he'll give her the space to go through those emotions however one thing a man notices and looks for is how aware of her own emotions she is how aware is she of her emotional state is she the kind of woman who can be expressing herself emotionally but still have awareness in what she's doing and how she may be expressing herself many men have had the experience and i've had this experience myself too of a woman justifying bad behavior because she's feeling intense emotions and this is toxic even some guys do it where they'll say oh well the reason i put my hands on you was because you made me so angry like what he's using his emotions to justify toxic behavior that's when i say that because that's what happened to me with an ex of mine we were in an intense argument and she put her hands on me now for me unless my life is being threatened i would never put my hands on a partner no matter how emotional i am and she tried to say oh i was upset and being a woman she's you know more emotional it's normal and i said absolutely not i have zero tolerance for that and i wouldn't put my eyes on you and i expect the same in return the reason this is so important and why men look for this is because they're looking for great qualities of a mother as a mother your children will push your buttons will likely push you to the edge emotionally and you can't just lash out because you're feeling a type of way because that just teaches it to them and god forbid you teach that to a son because emotionally undisciplined boys become undisciplined men and undisciplined men either end up dead or in jail and the discipline starts with the emotional self-awareness which ties into the next feminine quality that men notice is having grace under pressure grace under pressure is the knack of keeping one's cool and composure in challenging situations. A woman in her feminine understands that things can go wrong. However, it's not what happens to you that's important, but how you react and respond is what defines you. Women of value remain calm, collected, and they take a step back to assess the situation before reacting. This isn't to say that it's bad if you have an emotional response to something or situation. Of course, that's normal. People like to say that men are logical and women are emotional when it's very possible to be both at the same time. You can be logical about how you feel and what your emotions are, even if that's recognizing, okay, I recognize I'm feeling a bit emotional right now to make the right decision. So let me come back to this once I've settled myself. That's real excellence. This is where emotional intelligence comes in. They choose their battles carefully and respond in a way that is constructive, not destructive. Life is not perfect and things won't always go as planned. But that doesn't mean that just because something goes wrong, that it's time to throw in the towel. Failure is part of the learning process of life. So don't allow setbacks to get in the way of your desires. The next thing a man notices though, is how she treats her body. And this is quite important for a man. And this relates to whatever you can imagine. How she chooses to eat, whether she takes care of her body, health or fitness wise, who she has and does let into our body. Part of being in your feminine is treating your body as a temple. Hey, you know me, I always wanna give great value. And so as a thank you for watching this episode, I wanna give you the secret sauce that makes a man want to desperately commit to a woman. It's not great sex and it's not how hot you are. It's the value you bring outside of the bedroom, which is why I'm giving you my guide, the five feminine ways to add value to a man's life that makes you irreplaceable to him absolutely free just click the link below and it's yours now back to the video self-care comes in self-care is not about being selfish but rather about valuing and prioritizing the balance of oneself a woman recognizes that she cannot be the source of positive feminine energy unless she gives herself care especially if she wants to look and be there for others so you practicing self-care by prioritizing your physical emotional and mental well-being making sure you get enough rest eat healthy 
exercise regularly. And yes, that's an important part too, because let's be real, let's just keep it a buck. Men of value are attracted to women who take care of themselves, especially if he himself takes care of himself. Men find it very attractive, a woman who values her physical health, but also wants to look good for her and for a relationship. Now, of course, this isn't saying that you have to be aspiring to be some model-shaped body or reach some unrealistic beauty standard. But a man notices what kind of investment you put into being the best version of you. No woman, or man for that matter, is high value without looking after themselves physically. If you want a high value man who looks in shape and looks good, then to attract that, you have to emulate that in yourself too. Another thing men always notice in a woman is the gratitude that she has 100 percent there can seem to be so much adversarialism between men and women today i mean let's be honest if you've dated at all in the last five years it really feels like everyone is dating in a way to see what others can do for them it seems like everyone is dating in a way of what you can do for me and what i can get from this and while i respect that this can put you as a woman on guard it doesn't age you when you come across a masculine man who's looking to give his generosity to a woman generous with his time with his affection with acts of service gifts you name it now i get you might think okay well kit if he's generous then surely he would be that way with me regardless of how i am that's not true just because he's generous doesn't mean he doesn't respect himself. Men want to serve the woman they care about. They want to do things for the woman, but it is crucial that he knows and feels that it is appreciated and there's gratitude. To a man, you showing gratitude to him for the things he does says to him, I respect and acknowledge the things that you do for me. Ultimately, everyone wants to feel seen, their effort, to be noticed. When a man is generous to a woman and she doesn't show appreciation for it, she comes across as entitled and it makes him want to give his generosity to someone else who will appreciate it. I'll be honest, I have seen very attractive women jeopardize a relationship with a truly great guy because she was afraid that if she says thank you for things, even if she low-key just kind of expected them, that that would give him the permission to stop making an effort, that she's okay to accept the quote-unquote bare minimum. And I get why some women would take this approach because if you show to be unimpressed or unmoved by what you would call the bare minimum, it will make a guy go above and beyond to impress you and receive your appreciation and validation, right? And you are right. This does work, but this only works on men who have low self-esteem because they would be going above and beyond from a place of seeking validation, not from a place of generosity. Now, this can work really nicely in the short term, but when we seek validation and when we get it, what happens? We stop chasing it. Once he goes above and beyond, then you give him that validation, you'll see that level of effort won't be consistent and it's likely to drop off. So unless you're never going to give that validation to try and make him do more and more to get it, the more you resist it, the more you resist giving it, the more resentful he's likely to become. We have to remember that the feminine inspires the masculine. And so when you have a masculine man who respects himself, given that gratitude by you, it's that which makes him want to do more for you, not less. <sighs> Well, thanks for tuning in. And if you're ready to take your love life to the next level, then be sure to join the Kit Angels community in the link below. Let's stay connected. See you next time.